Hey guys, let's finish off our Defender game. So let's add in an Asteroid Spawner for creating our Asteroids and then we will add in the logic for getting our Asteroids to destroy our player or affect our health system. And then we'll add in the explosion effects as well and the user interface for displaying our health and uh, point system. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started with getting in the asteroids, I think. Uh, okay, let's see, we need a spawner which we are going to put just above the background here. Let's look for it. It should be in. Scripts, gameplay, and object, object creator area. There we go. Let's drag it on. Okay, it didn't drag on. Oh, we need an object. So we need to attach our scripts to game objects. Just remember that. So I'm going to call this Asteroid Spawner. And now we can attach our script to it. Okay, do it that way. Hope you guys remember the multiple ways in which you can attach scripts by now. Okay, and now we need a prefab selected. So we need an object that we need to spawn. So what we need to do is create a prefab out of one of our images um so if you go to assets images asteroids you'll see a bunch of asteroids here now uh, you'll see these are not prefabs so you'll have to take them and add them to your scene and then create prefabs out of them by dragging them down into your project view Okay, so let's go ahead and choose one. I'm going to choose this round one. Let's write three, drag it up, go back to assets and my assets, prefabs. And we're going to drag the asteroid three down there and that will create the prefab for us. We no longer need this asteroid in our scene view, so we will delete that. And asteroid spawner. Click on that again and object creation prefab to spawn. Let's just drag the asteroid 3 into that. Spawn interval. I think that's in seconds, so every one second it will spawn something. Um, let's see, asteroid spawner is this little green block at the moment. I don't want it there. Let's drag it up. So we'll click, uh, press W or click on the move tool we just drag it up here we'll drag it a bit higher than the than the background because we don't want the game objects to spawn too low mm, let's just see uh, we need to expand the box collider so in your box collider on the asteroid spawner just increase the size so you'll see size x just click and drag on x to the right and just slightly less than your camera your camera size which is this white box over here okay i think that'll do let's just test it out see there's a messenger enable is Trigger on the collider to make the script work. So, we have our box collider here, and we need to make it a trigger. Okay, error message went away, or warning message went away. Let's play. And let's see. Okay, so it's spawning the asteroids. Let's just hit pause here and see what's happening. So, it's creating the asteroids, but they're not falling down because I did not add rigid bodies to them okay so let's come back to our prefab asteroid 3 so we want to double click that which opens up our prefab editor 
and we want to set order in layer let's make that oh wait we set our background to minus one so order in layer zero is fine draw mode okay we want to add rigid body 2d and gravity scale let's make that 9.8 So gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second. So we are setting it to what gravity is on Earth and see what that looks like. Okay, that's a bit fast. Let's just scale it down. While we're in play mode, I'm just going to adjust it. Uh, gravity scale, let's just bring it down a bit. Yeah, I think that looks okay. 0.5 I think that's a little bit too fast we'll bring it down bring it down quite a bit so 9.8 was very fast mm. so let's see 0.1 Mm. Let's just see what happens as I turn and shoot, how fast the bullets are. Seems reasonable. Uh, I think that's still a bit fast. Let's make it 0 0.05 then. Now it's falling much slower. And yeah, let's change the rate. Oops, wrong object. I want my spawner. Oh, it's created quite a lot of objects here. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it. So let's go back to asteroid. We had gravity scale 0 0.05. Okay, I think that was the initial value of this object. No, 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 that's it. Actually, saved it. Okay, so if you're editing a prefab, it actually keeps a value if you're in play mode and edit it. Okay, the asteroids are way too big. Let's change the size of this. So, in edit mode, let's click on T, or press the T key, or you can select the rect tool above here and scale this down hold shift and grab one of the corners and just scale it down let's make it uh, about that big and press play see what that looks like yeah i think that looks better Yeah, they're falling too fast, so let's go back to our spawner, asteroid spawner, and make spawn interval 2. Let's test that out. Okay, I think that's a bit better. Cool, okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, just keep saving. Remember, it's very important to save all the time. Okay, next thing we want to actually destroy our asteroids when our bullet hits. So let's go back to our asteroid prefab. If you've forgotten, it's assets, my assets, prefabs, asteroid 3, double click it to open up your prefab editor. Okay, uh, here we need to add in a component which is destroy for points. And we'll make this, it asks you for a collider, it or adds a collider automatically, which is quite nice. So add a circle collider, since our asteroid is circular. 
I just hit Control S to save. And let's see now, destroy for points. We have it at one point. And let's see if this works. Okay, they're not getting destroyed. I just see I'm missing something. Okay, so I think it's not working because let's see, let's double click our energy ball. It needs to be tagged as a bullet, which it's not, but um, hmm. you know, it actually doesn't have a collider on it because the thing is our script, the bullet spawn point, this Object Shooter script will actually add the bullet tag for you when it creates the bullet, when it spawns the bullet. So that's not the issue. So let's go back to Energy Ball and add a collider on it. Let's make it a Box Collider 2D. And it's just a bit big, so let's change size down. You'll see the green uh, rectangle there is your collider so we're just gonna bring it down a bit and let's leave the width as it is it doesn't match up exactly but let's give the bullet a bit of an advantage okay hit save and let's test this there we go destroying great okay I'm going to stop this um sorry I had a stats on uh, just going to game and gonna hide stats let's go back to scene and what we need to do is make the asteroids explode when getting hit so let's do that you just make sure you have your asteroid open and click on add component in your inspector and we are going to look for condition collision. Okay, add that script in. And here we are going to add some gameplay actions. Let's click on destroy action. So we are, what we want is this object to be destroyed once it hits something. So we'll choose target is this object this object must be destroyed and click on death effect we will yeah just click on this little circle here it'll pop up this window select game object and click on assets search for p underscore and select explosion if you don't know what an underscore is it is a shift in the minus key next to your number zero on your keyboard Okay, the explosion. Let's see if that does anything. Great, it blows up. The last thing I want to do is add in the user interface so we can display the score and number of uh, health that we have. So let's go out into assets and select prefabs. Make sure it's assets prefabs and not yours. Uh, in other words, not assets, my assets prefabs. Okay, because this is where you will find user interface. Let's drag it up. And under UI script here in your inspector, number of players, one player, game type is score. Let's make score to win 10 and press play. Okay, so it's showing health. Cool, let's just test this out till the end. Oh, oops. It's not changing our health. 
which is fine. We'll fix it just now. I just want to get to 10 points. And we have a winner. Okay, let's stop that. It said player two wins for some reason. I think it's because I don't have my turret tagged as a player. So it doesn't know what player number we're dealing with. So let's go back to user interface. So we want to subtract uh, health from our health meter when we when one of the asteroids hits the ground. So let's select ground and we are going to just type in health and health system is what we want. Now that is three. And let's see if that makes a difference. I have a feeling I'm forgetting something. Yep. Um, let's go back into assets. My assets, prefabs, and asteroid. I think I need to add something here as well. Um, so on collision with something. No, it's not that. Modify health. Let's try this. So this ob game object will damage or heal other game objects on impact only if they use the health system attribute. Okay, great. This is what we want. So we added a health system attribute to our ground. Just verify that we have health system there. Come back to asteroid. Now project view. And health change minus one, so it'll take away one health when colliding. Let's see what happens. I'm going to let the asteroid hit the ground. Okay, so. It definitely had an impact on the health, but why is my health not changing? Okay, I think I know what's wrong. So if you select ground, you need to tag it as player as well. Even though technically it's not the player, but what what's happening is the destroy for points uh, script is checking for con uh, coll collision with the player. So I just hit play here. So technically the ground is the player because the player is protecting the ground. And there we go. Cool. Okay, the asteroids will continue falling down. I'm not going to worry about anything else now. <laughs> we'll just let it fall. So that's game over. And I think we are done with this game. Okay, so my next set of tutorials, I'm going to start going over some simple scripts and we will get into 3D development and do some C sharp scripting. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. And I hope you guys enjoy this series on Unity Playground. If you guys want more tutorials using Unity Playground, please let me know, drop a comment, and I will think of something else to do. Okay, until then, enjoy.